AI has become a key part of smartphone cameras in recent years, and you might be wondering how it works or what AI even is. I'm Nathan, and today I'll be telling you all about how Pixel cameras use the power of Google AI to help you take better photos. In simplistic terms, artificial intelligence, or AI, is a computer program that can learn and adapt. So let's break that down. When it comes to digital photography, AIs can learn to recognize what your camera sees. Developers use a process called machine learning, where an AI analyzes thousands of images and looks for patterns. Eventually, it identifies enough patterns to accurately recognize what's in the photo. And you can do this with almost anything from selfies to sunsets. Then comes the adapt part. Now, once an AI learns to recognize what it sees, it can adapt your camera settings and make edits to the captured image and improve the overall image quality. So how does all this work together in Pixel cameras? Well, Pixel cameras use a combination of hardware, software, and Google AI. The experts on Google's camera team train software behind the camera to become a master photographer, one that's able to easily recognize what you're capturing, adapt your settings, and take advantage of Google's powerful software features. And it does all of this behind the scenes, making capturing high quality photos as easy as tapping that shutter button. Let's take a look at how AI works with Google's various software powered camera features. First and foremost is Live HDR+. HDR stands for High Dynamic Range. It's a computational photography technique that merges a burst of multiple images to help bring out details in tricky lighting. For example, if you're taking a photo after the sun has gone down, HDR can bring out details in the shadows. Or if you're photographing someone in front of a sunny window, HDR can help maintain detail in the highlights as well. Now, in the past, you'd only see the effect of HDR after you'd taken the photo, and this would often make it difficult to know exactly what you're capturing. However, Pixel cameras use machine learning to create a live preview of the final image in the viewfinder. That way, what you see is what you get, and this is what we call Live HDR+. And Google takes this even further by using the preview generated through Live HDR Plus and adding dual exposure controls on top, letting you adjust the highlights and the shadows with simple sliders. This way, you can get things looking exactly how you want them to before taking the shot, so there's no need to edit later. Together, Live HDR Plus and dual exposure controls help you capture perfectly balanced photos with loads of detail, even in tricky lighting. It's safe to say smartphone cameras have never been well known for taking pictures at night, but Google helped challenge that with the introduction of Night Sight. And Night Sight works in a similar way to HDR, merging together multiple long exposure images to give you loads of detail even when there's not much light. And the camera can even recognize this, suggesting you might want to use Night Sight when you open your camera in low light conditions. Google used machine learning to teach the camera how a good low light or night sight shot should look. The software behind the camera then uses this knowledge to edit the image and make it look more realistic. So it'll do things like checking the white balance and shifting the colors to look more natural. And Pixel's cameras can even distinguish between the sky and the landscape and apply color corrections to the sky whilst leaving the landscape untouched. And because even minor shakes from your hands can have a large effect on nighttime shots, Pixel cameras use AI to recognize whether you're holding the phone or if it's held steadily in a tripod, and then adjust the exposure time to suit. Shorter exposures for handheld shots or longer exposures when on a tripod to capture even more light. Thanks to the power of AI, you can even use night sight to capture photos of the Milky Way galaxy in the night sky. Have you ever gone through your photos and noticed someone had their eyes closed, or maybe someone wasn't even looking at the camera? There's only two solutions. Go back and try to recreate that exact moment to get the shot you want, or use Topshot to make sure you never miss the perfect shot. You see, Topshot uses a burst of images, just like HDR and Night Sight. It actually captures up to 90 images from up to one and a half seconds before and after the shutter is pressed. And this is where AI comes into play. The Pixel camera analyzes the images and scores them based on how good they are. And then it looks at things like lighting, whether people have their eyes open, if they're smiling, the expressions on their faces, blur, exposure, focus, white balance, all of that good stuff. Then it saves the original shot and up to two alternatives based on the score, all of which are saved in high resolution HDR. 
and after you've taken the photo, you can rewind time and look at the alternative shots with the recommended ones highlighted using that AI. What about digital zoom? It's always a struggle to match the quality of optical zoom, right? All you're really doing is cropping your photo, which drops the resolution and magnifies noise. Well, Pixel's camera challenged that notion too with the introduction of Super Res Zoom. Now, Super Res Zoom uses, you guessed it, a burst of images and merges them into one high resolution photo, reducing noise whilst at the same time maintaining details. To activate Super Res Zoom, you'll need to pinch on your viewfinder to zoom in before taking the photo. Remember, it won't work if you try to zoom in once the photo is taken. Then, Super Res Zoom uses AI and machine learning to recognize and upscale the quality of your image, enhancing straight edges and adding textures based on what it thinks you should see. It even analyzes the distortions caused by your handshaking and uses that information to enhance the resolution. The end result is high resolution zoom shots that are on par with that of a two times optical zoom, all thanks to the power of software and AI. Now, portrait shots, they look great, don't they? They make almost any photo look way more professional. And DSLR cameras are able to capture these great portrait shots thanks to the hardware they use, specifically their great big sensors. Smartphones, on the other hand, have to use software to recreate this look artificially, sometimes using data from multiple lenses. The quality of smartphone portrait shots can vary wildly, and so arguably the most important factor in getting a good shot is how good the AI and software are. Pixel cameras are capable of capturing some of the best portrait shots on any smartphone, and they only need one lens to do it. It starts by capturing a picture where everything is sharp using Google's HDR Plus to improve the quality of the captured image. Then the Pixel camera identifies the person in the photo so that they can be separated from the background. Google trained the software using almost a million pictures of people, including their hats, sunglasses, and ice cream cones. And because it can identify which pixels belong to the person to such a high degree of accuracy, the portrait effect and blurred background look more realistic with high quality and fewer errors. And thanks to Pixel software, portrait mode on Pixel cameras also works on things other than people. So you can capture portrait shots of everything from your pet pooch to a sunflower. And last but definitely not least, there's Google Lens. And it's built right into the Pixel camera app to help you search what you see. What do I mean by that? Well, imagine you're out for a stroll and you spot a statue that you want to learn more about. What would you type into Google search to find that statue? You could end up scrolling through loads of results before you find the one you're looking for. Well, with Google Lens, you can use the power of AI to search using your camera instead of having to type something into Google search. Google recognizes what your camera is pointed at and then brings up the relevant info. And there is loads you can do. You can learn more about popular landmarks, see ratings, opening hours, and get historical facts. You can scan and translate text to help you find your way or decipher a menu when traveling, for example. You can find similar clothes, furniture, and home decor without having to describe them in a search box. And you can identify plant and animal species and figure out the name of that flower you spotted in the park. And that is how pixel cameras use AI to help you take great photos and search what you see. Thanks for watching. And if you want to learn more, remember we have a whole bunch of content over on GRT.